So welcome everybody, Philip Wade here from North Yorkshire, England at the home of the Universal Studio. Welcome to tonight's stream, a meditative reading of something that I wrote four years ago uh, entitled A Letter From God. I'm going to do it as the form of a meditative reading so I will guide you into meditation uh, and the invitation is to just rest in that with your eyes closed and deeply hear uh, the insights offered in the reading. The letter itself uh, and the piece is actually quite long so it's going to be quite a long meditation tonight. But before I guide you into the meditation, uh, just a little bit of background really. This piece, as I say, was written in 2018. And at the time I was actually uh, helping a lot of people uh, as normal, but one person in particular who'd had a very deep uh, seeing and realization of uh, a friend of mine, uh, but was really, really struggling because uh, I kind of felt like uh, she'd lost that uh, and uh, uh, helping her quite a bit and the suffering was really quite considerable uh, for her uh, and helping to sort of guide her through that process. And I remember being out this particular day with our golden retriever, Amber, um, we're fortunate to live in a quiet English village and I was looking across the open fields uh, and in the distance I could see the spire of a church and that church is called Christ the Consoler. Uh, so it's in the village. And I remember reflecting that, you know, if people could truly understand the nature of the true self, self-realization, which is all my sharing is about here on Insight Timer and in other places. Um, we needn't suffer and we needn't uh, necessarily need the idea of uh, this consolation because the realization of the true nature of the self will, uh, and the dissolution of the emotional body will bring the suffering to a close. And this was in my consciousness as I was stood there, beautiful, uh, I think it was a summer morning and suddenly in awareness the words a letter from God appeared um, and that, that's unusual for me as you know those who followed the streams will know it's not a term I use a lot because it's easily misunderstood because it can mean so many different things to so many different people uh, and when I speak of it what I'm speaking of is infinite silence or the infinite awareness, the realization of the true essence. But anyway, this was the words that appear. And then quickly after that, the opening lines of what turned out to be this uh, letter emerged. Uh, and as I got back home uh, that uh, day, sat down at the computer uh, and it just all came out. Um, and it was probably a little bit more than I said in the introduction to this, because it's a rather longer letter than I'd <laughs> remembered. But it was probably within half an hour, it was done, just in all in one go, and there it was. And it was suggested after I shared it at the time that I did a live reading, which I did uh, on another platform at the time. So this is the first time on uh, Insight Timer that I've uh, done this particular piece. Uh, and it's quite an important piece. It's very insightful, um, straight from the silence, as I call it. Uh, and it's entitled, A Letter from God. But the best way to do it, uh, I've found, is to guide you into the infinite silence meditation. And that way, you'll be able to hear and experience more of it. So if you're good to go, Let's get ready and close our eyes. And as you close your eyes, just simply silently 
noticing what's here now. And just watching silently without any judgment the sensations any emotions the breath feelings, just completely accepting what's here now. Without any judgment. And as you silently watch, just be open from your heart. To connect with the energy of the spheres. just be silent now for a while. Just connecting And as you open to this connection, the energy of the spheres, or spheres of light, just merging with that silent witnessing presence. Simply, silently, and non-judgmentally watches. And even this witnessing presence, the silent witness, itself now is dissolving, melting, becoming one with an ocean of infinite silence. completely dissolving oh. 
in silence. You will realize truth. In truth, you will realize you are silence, infinite silence. just resting in that space now beyond time beyond form before being and let the insights in the letter merge with your being Dear friend, it may have been a while in your time since we sat down and had a good heart to heart. So we've set aside this special time today just for that. Yes, we agreed to do this millennia ago even an eternity ago and now here we are it's been my observation for a long time now that you have been struggling at this gift called life for sure you've had some ups and downs as you like to put it maybe some incredible highs and very deep lows but always in the background there's this fear fear of life that's what calls me to write today you know in truth there is nothing to fear nothing for life is eternal and you are it. It's really that simple, but right now it probably doesn't seem or feel that way to you. So let me expand on this a bit and see where it takes us. You may have heard that scientists have said energy can neither be created nor destroyed and then go on to add rather it can only be transformed from one form to another it's often referred to as the law of conservation of energy The scientists are right. Frequently this law is only thought of in terms of physical phenomena. Say you strike a match, the chemical energy gets converted to heat energy, light energy and sound energy. The energy has not been destroyed, just transformed. The universe is energy. Energy aware of itself. That's what consciousness is. That's what life is. That's what you 
really are. That means it is eternal. That means you are eternal. Let me say that again in case you missed it. You are eternal. You cannot be created or destroyed. You can, however, change form. It has been said in spiritual texts that you were created in my likeness. Again, this is true. However, it has been much misunderstood. Humanity has most often translated this into some image of me say, typically a bearded man in the sky, looking over you all and quite often judging you and allowing some into heaven with me and others to hell and various other unpleasant states. None of this could be further from the truth. In my image and likeness actually means you are also this eternal self-aware energy. This is my image and likeness. I am eternal, formless, timeless, infinite silence. It is beauty beyond words, for I am beyond words, and so, my friend, are you. It cannot be any other way. All must be contained within me as me. Nothing can be separate from me. Nothing. How would this be possible since that which I am is infinite? That wouldn't make any sense, would it? Yet you continue to believe in the myth, in fear of me, when I have only love for you. Why would there be judgment if there is no separation? It would mean I was judging myself. An idea that is so ridiculous that it is simply untrue. Since my very essence is infinite, every facet of my expression in you is automatically connected to every other facet. There are no gaps, no separation. This form that you have, you call it your body, isn't actually you. It is like a projection from the infinite so that I can experience myself through you. This is done in infinite variety. Since my capacity is unlimited, it's all done in an instantaneous moment of now. All of it here now. From the perspective of mind, this feels impossible to grasp. From the perspective of the infinite, it makes perfect sense. Your heart knows this already. And this is a heart to heart after all. 
your cries of pain and anguish and moments of greatest joy are all heard never missed yet you are always at choice and this is also a universal law that can never be violated my invitation is for you to join me not that we are separate it is a choice yes now given that you are created from the stuff of consciousness energy you are at liberty to transform literally from within this transformation is one of awareness you may have spent all of your life in your body looking down at your feet so to speak when there is a whole universe awaiting to be realized such is the magnitude of the gift of life I don't do things by halves I only deal in wholes totalities infinite to make it clear the I being used in this letter is always the infinite I so when the mystic poet Rumi said you are not a drop in the ocean but an, the entire ocean in a drop this was and remains a very beautiful description of you and me yes all of me is poured into you remember I only deal in totalities in that same moment all of me is a poured into all the infinite is like that unlimited in well an unlimited way all in no time at all so where does this leave us well it means there's only one of us here one of us constantly transforming shifting flowing through life as life so there really is nothing to fear you have been part of this picture for all of eternity this form this body you have may transform but you in your highest truth will not be lost you are eternal all of your suffering comes from one case of mistaken I identity the small I that you have thought and believed that you are this body of yours its story and its experiences you simply forgot the rest of you by focusing on one tiny element there's nothing wrong in this by the way there's no judgment about it there's no test here no exam to pass no one on the door of heaven there is no door 
it's all about where your attention is placed. When it's focused on identity, which will capture as thoughts and beliefs obsessed with themselves, then suffering is inevitable. For all these are temporary, transient, impermanent, not to be relied upon. It's your trust in the impermanence, identification and attachment to it that causes the suffering. For these impermanent things are like crutches to the ego. They inevitably transform, change and leave ego floundering. This is putting your trust in a fundamentally ineffective place. Placing your trust in the permanent, however, is the perfect solution. The universal energy of consciousness. Infinite silence. Yes, that is energy aware of itself as itself. That's all that's necessary. An apparent shift of focus. That's really the essence of my invitation to you. Instead of identifying with the impermanent, remember the permanent. Instead of focusing on physical phenomena, focus on silence. The simple fact that phenomena can be reported or described like your senses report touch, hearing, sight and so on means that all the phenomena are being observed from a higher and actually permanent awareness, the silence itself. Me, in other words. Even the sense of beingness, the pure sense, I am, with nothing after the words I am can be seen, witnessed and reported from this deeper essence. So you must be the ultimate observer, the silence itself. It's the only thing that makes sense. All I truly know is silence. The rest is simply the play of consciousness and impermanent. Only the silence is permanent and you, my friend, are it and we are one. How are we doing? It's excellent that you have taken so much time to listen today. Listen not only by being here, but by opening to it with your heart. The words on this page are only a tiny fraction of the communication going on here. They are a vehicle which carry the vibration of silence with them. 
So many spend time praying for this, that and the other, when the most effective place to be is still and silent. That way you can actually hear me. When it was said, be still and know that I am God. That was great advice. From guess who? Yes, yours truly. In the stillness you will find me. Always. All. Ways. For I am the knowing. The eternal. This leads us to look at a myth. That there is something that you have to do or be to be with me. Let me be direct on this. This myth is absolute nonsense. It's important to be crystal clear on this. There is nothing you have to do. Not only that, nothing matters. You see, the infinite cannot be anything other than infinite. It's kind of cool that way. It can play a game, a game of hide and seek, pretending not to be itself, like you do when you think you are your body and its story. Hiding from your truth. Then having done this for long enough, you forgot your truth. And so go in search of it. Seeking. Call off the search. Be still and know that I am God. We are not separate but one. Place your attention in the silence. Let all the phenomena be observed as just that effects in consciousness. Just effects, like effects in a movie. Not the movie itself, not life itself, but an effect. Life is not the effect. Life is life. The effects die away. Only life is left. So we can also say life is death. Death of the phenomena, ego, or even transformation of the phenomena back into life. Back to where we started then. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Rather, it can only be transformed. The great transformation back into its very source. You. This whole letter today is an invitation home to meet me. When you accept the invitation unreservedly, we will meet 
and you will see, finally, I am you and we are one. Be still and know. just continuing to rest in that through that as that this rarefied atmosphere of silence. Transforms. Transmutes. Returning everything to silence. stillness in silence you will realize your truth in truth you will realize you are silence, infinite silence. now I will ring the Ting Sha bells three times just aware of the chair you're sat in or whatever you may be lay on aware of your body aware of the space and if you haven't already done so just gently opening your eyes 